Access Hollywood. Fallon with Access Hollywood. Um, I have a question for you, Adam. You said that you believed in Christina so much that you would sign her, whether she, if she lost. Does that still stand true? Do you plan to sign her? 100%. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's it's really it's happening. Uh, she's incredible. And the things that I think are great about Christina is that one of the coolest things about Christina is it's so hard to have traction as a, as a singer and have the YouTube uh, following that she had. All the things that she had in place before she was on The Voice are the hardest things for an artist to, to get. And so I see those things. I also see how successful she was in the show. I see how amazing she is and how what a hard worker she is. And I just think to myself, this girl, regardless of the outcome, like I said on, on TV, uh, is going to have a big career and I'd love to be a part of it. So. Next question right here. Go ahead. Yep. Finally defeated, um, obviously. Don't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Say that out loud. It's about, it's about damn time. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of my question. I mean, did you? I mean, obviously you wanted to win, but did do you feel like the fans kind of were looking for a new coach to win, or do you? Did you kind of get that feeling going into tonight? I think I think viewers of the show were, were ready for somebody else to win. I, I, if I watched the show, I would be. I mean, <laughs> you got to. You gotta change it up at some point. To be honest with you, when I heard that, that Usher was coming to the show for, for season four, four yeah. Uh, I thought at that moment I was like, Well, it was fun for a minute. Because <laughs> I mean just knowing his history with developing uh, you know, artists and, and uh, the fact that you know, he he worked with Bieber and, and, and the obvious things like that, I, I just thought, well, you know, this we're never going to win again, you know. And, and the fact that we that we did was was a shock to me. And, and uh, if there was ever anybody that I that I thought could could beat us, it would have been Usher. Now I will go on and say that crap ain't ever going to happen again, <laughs> ever. I concur. Uh, next question, right here. I wanted to ask Jake, what are your future plans? And Blake, how might you be a part of his uh, future career? <clears throat> My future plans, obviously, are to can continue to, to work in, towards a music career. I mean, this this show has built, you know, made me a business, made us all a business now. And uh, I'm ready to hold on to that and, and stay cool and ride that train, you know. And um, if Blake has any input in that, I'm willing to have him along. Like, that's all up to him. And uh, just the time that I've got to spend with him, and even other coaches and, and other people that I've met throughout this thing has been priceless. Uh, you can't you can't take that away from from me or from Christina or from Josh or from anybody for that matter that's been on the show. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> I'd also like to just kind of add to that by saying that making it to the finale, as far as I'm concerned, is a win. It's a victory because you all three have the platform to do just as much as the winner does. Uh, and so I, I see it as just a beautiful win for all three of you guys because it really does, it, the, the playing field is as level as ever at this moment. And uh, getting this far, as these guys know, is, is exceedingly difficult. And they're there. So uh, I, see, I see a win. Thank you. you. I think we have a question. Adam, do you take any credit for Josh's win since you had him first? Of course I do. <laughs> um, you know what? I, insult to injury that I, 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 look, I look at it now and I say, oh, you know, um, I, I wish I could have had Josh and Christina in the finals. Um, no. I, um, no, I don't wish that. But you know what, though? At the end of the day, uh, I, I still believe that if I looked at that particular moment in time that, that, that Delvin and Josh had that battle, um, I, I don't rescind my decision, which was that I do believe that Delvin did win that battle. Delvin did not go on to win The Voice, um, but he, he won in that moment. He was the winner, and, and I stayed true to what I believed in that moment. Granted, things did change, uh, but I am nothing but pleased and overjoyed that, that Josh won because he's a wonderful singer. He's a wonderful guy, and, uh, and he deserves it as much as, as much as these guys do. Can I ask you a question? Shut up. Just shut up. Adam, do you feel it. like you screwed the pooch <laughs> by letting uh, Josh okay. go? And, and technically, I'm with him now. So we have Christina. Okay. So, by the way, still here. and technically, technically, you know, 
I see, I, I look at it like it was, I saw two thirds of my team up there today. You know? <laughs> Shut up, I don't like my friends. <laughs> we have a question here. I even wanted Jake. I wanted all three of you guys. Remember? I fought for you too. I lost you to Cowboy yeah. John over here. John, I'm sorry. I fought for Christine. Cowboy Dan. She hates me. She does hate you. She told me she hates me. I know me. she hates me. Before we this question. She even colored your hair like She's like, I hate you. She's like, I want to look like. I hate Blake. I don't want to look like. Like Jamie Lee Curtis also. <laughs> so she did the same thing. Is it Jamie Lee Curtis? I think yeah. he looks like Jamie Lee Curtis? <laughs> no. Malfoy. No, <laughs> question right here. Hey guys, Josh with Extra. Right here. Where the hell are you? There. Right here. <laughs> so in one of the playback videos, Adam, you said you were not going to miss Blake now. The show's over. Blake, are you going to miss Adam? How we don't have time. To miss him? Yeah. There's no, there's literally no time to miss each other. There's not even a moment to reflect <laughs> because in a matter of days, we'll be back here again. Oh, that makes uh, me a little doing... bit like want to vomit almost because I... I you don't want to be around me? No, it's like there's two there's two entities I don't miss ever in my life. Maroon 5 or Blake Shelton. Because <laughs> I spend my entire life <laughs> And you know, I love them. I love every single one of them. But man, I certainly don't miss them. I might miss them one day. But it's certainly not right now. <laughs> we have a question right here. Hi guys, Katie with E! News. Uh, Christina, this is for you. Um, I'm watching you right now, and you're sitting here being very gracious, but what's going through your mind right now? What can we expect from you moving forward following this competition? Um, well, because Adam's best, <laughs> um, I'm going to be um, hopefully working with him um, on his label. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> um, so it's going to be awesome to just get into making music, you know, and, um, you know, Kind of like he already said, third place to me is like, you know, I'm in the top three. I I don't know how you can possibly complain yeah, being in this position, you absolutely. know? There's no illusion. <laughs> exactly. And um, so moving forward, um, I just want to get down to business. I want to, you know, go on tour and uh, write some music, come out with some stuff, and uh, hopefully, uh, no, America will. Buy it. <laughs> oh, they will. Oh, they will. Awesome. We have two more questions right here. Uh, Pamela with Entertainment Weekly. Jake, you're kind of like the ultimate comeback in this competition. You tried out for the show once to make it on. Now you've made it. So not only the top three, but you're second place winner in this competition. So what does it mean for you to have made it this far? Uh, you know, it means the whole the whole world. Uh, I wouldn't be here if, if if he wouldn't have turned his chair, if he wouldn't have turned his chair, or Shakira. I wouldn't have been here if, if the crew wouldn't have called me back. I mean, I wouldn't have been here if my family and friends didn't push me to be here. You know, he opened up the gateway for me, and and he's you know pretty much had his hand on my back the whole time. And uh, I mean, I'm proud of that. I, <laughs> you, like I said, you cannot take any of this away from me or from her or from anybody else. This is such a win all in itself, and we met so many great people. Regardless of the title, you know, from second place or third place, you're in the same predicament. It's free range. It's all about if you got the guts and the balls to do so mm. and carry on. You know, <laughs> I, I think that we, I think that we both, you know, have that. I think Christina's set with her, him, and I think I'm pretty damn set with Blake and and whoever else wants to help me. And uh, you know, I'm going to stick to the people who stay true to me. Question over here. Um, for for the coaches, how should they prepare for the tour? Because that's a whole different experience. And for you guys, what are you looking forward towards the tour? Oh, you said the coaches. So like, we'll, we'll double. Like, what should they expect? Because that's a whole different world, touring. Yeah. And what are you expecting as being on tour? Um, so well, I'm sure. Double, I'm double. Sure, just as far as I mean, I, I can tell you right now it's gonna be a lot of work but this girl works harder than anybody so she works harder than I do uh, and, and uh, yeah I don't know you, you work you work your ass off and I, I think that you're gonna do everything you need to do uh, I don't worry about her you know she's she's ready to do whatever is, is required of her um, you know it's the bless you uh, 
like I said, it'll be fun for these guys because we get to be out there with people that they can perform almost every sing night. Sing music for a living. All we ever want, ever to do, just so you all know this, because I know that we all share this, everyone sitting up here, is to have a job that requires us to sing music. Um, the, the money and the fame and all the things, the beautiful things that, that, that we've all experienced are great, but uh, just to be enough above zero to, to get paid to play music is the ultimate dream. I still, every single day, I wake up and I think, I love my job, thank God. And I know these guys feel the same way. So they're going to they're gonna do what they need to do. Thank you very much. They have to run. Appreciate it. Thank you.